Maldor was founded in 1920 in St. Louis, Missouri by Edwin Ballman and Emil Dorr. Mr. Ballman was an electrical engineer. Mr. Dorr was a machinist, and so their intent was to build a better motor. Uh, and by that, I mean a more efficient motor. And that's still our goal today as a company. Here at the Valdo Fort Smith Motor Plant 210 facility, we produce NEMA 210 frame AC motors ranging from 3 to 15 horsepower and steel, cast iron, and aluminum housing. We have industry leading products in food and beverage, uh, mining, oil and gas. We also have products for pharmaceutical, air handling. We've grown from a small company in St. Louis with 10 employees building single phase induction motors to a $2 billion company. We're proud to be a part of the ABB group rather than competing with ABB as we have for a few years. It's definitely different going from having 7,000 employees in North America to being a part of a group that's 145,000 worldwide. But it's been a good transition so far. The majority of our customers are located in North America, so we uh, have a strategy to invest in facilities close to home so that we can better serve our customers. In order to do that, you have to keep your costs down as much as possible. The robots are one uh, avenue of being able to do this. We've tried to use them as a strategy to keep our employees safer in harsh environments, as well as to improve productivity. Anywhere that we don't have to touch the product, we try to use automation. Specifically, we've used robots in our die-cast facilities for many years. We're a high-pressure aluminum die-cast facility. We make uh, all the aluminum die-cast parts for Baldor Motors. The benefits of the robot is that we can buy larger die-casting machines and make a heavier part. The robot can handle the weight where an operator would have fatigue and ergonomic issues. The other thing is that we're in a hot, dirty business. Uh, there's lubricants in the air, and being able to have a robot inside the cell versus a person is a much better situation for us. The Foundry Plus is obviously required in an aluminum foundry. Uh, they hold up to the environment, the dust, the dirt, they just don't seem to have any problem with what we're doing out here. We started using robots in 2000. We have nine robots now. One of them is still original robot from back then. I'm responsible for maintenance and they, the uptime on the robots and the service life out of the robots has really been a good asset for us. We like the fact that the stuff will interchange from one robot to another. You know, the older stuff interchanges with the new stuff. You know, you just, it's all plug and play type stuff. We, uh, we've got a couple of sales really dialed in and uh, you know, we're working on the other sales, trying to get them to that level. But uh, the newer sales, with all the newer programming and the latest features on the robots, enables us to make changes on the fly. Uh, we don't have to shut the cell down to make a, make a position change or a correction. And uh, it's working out good. ABB robots uh, help transfer our component parts within the winding process. It's a precise movement, and so it allows us to transfer and manipulate and move the product uh, with, with less handling. The robots in the winding cells help us eliminate repetition and heavy lifting for the parts product. We're trying to keep the operator away from injury. Our goal is to continue to automate the, the work cells so that we can get more pounds of aluminum per hour worked. And the robots you know, work through breaks, they work through lunch. They give us the ability to continue to produce aluminum parts.
Our primary goal at Baldor is to serve our customer. We don't grade our own paper, our customers do. Baldor's mission statement is to be the best as determined by our customers, which means our customer is our top priority. We center our business around what their needs are. We try to listen to what they need rather than what we want to sell. We know that they vote on us every day by giving us an order. And it's up to us to earn that repetitive order every single day.